In Libya tonight, rebel leaders say that they are closing in on Muammar Gaddafi. There's no proof of that, but NATO-backed rebel forces are moving against a Gaddafi stronghold east of Tripoli. And as Barry Peterson reports, they're rooting out the last Gaddafi loyalists in the capital. In Tripoli, under pressure from the rebels, Gaddafi's forces are retreating and scattering. And while the rebels now control most of the country, Gaddafi still has the loyalty of tribal areas where he could hide, including Sirte, where he was born. But rebels are reinforcing their attack on Sirte, aided by NATO-coordinated British fighter jets. Now, there is growing alarm about Gaddafi's looted weapons arsenal, up to 30,000 shoulder-launched missiles, which can down a commercial jet. Intelligence sources have detected a fall in the price of these shoulder-launched missiles in Middle East arms market. A suggestion there is a glut of these out there, probably flowing out of Libya and perhaps flowing into the hands of terrorists like Al-Qaeda. And according to an Al-Qaeda website, some 600 hardcore Mujahideen are among those set free after rebels stormed the main Tripoli prison. One thing still working for Gaddafi is his propaganda machine, a satellite TV channel based in Syria. Today, it aired what it claimed was a live report of adoring masses in Tripoli's main square celebrating Gaddafi's greatness. In truth, rebels took the square their first night in the city, and people come here to celebrate, all right, celebrate the end of Gaddafi. The end seems near, if not for Gaddafi himself, for his forces, who are on the run everywhere. Mary Peterson, CBS News, Tripoli, Libya.